we're going over Avogadro's gas law in this video. And what that's looking at is the number of moles, so the amount of gas and the volume of the container it would take up. Okay, so we're going to see how the amount of gas and how the volume affect one another. Here we go. All right, so Avogadro's law is dealing with your amount of gas, which is always going to be in moles, and your volume. Okay, so we're seeing how these two variables affect one another. You keep pressure and temp constant. Okay, so I'm dealing with my number of moles, my amount, and my volume. Okay, and I'm keeping everything else constant. The amount and the volume are directly proportional. So again, we have a direct relationship. Okay, as one of these goes up, the other also goes up. Easiest example ever is blowing up a balloon. And that's literally what we're gonna calculate later, okay? But if you have a balloon and you start to blow it up, the more air, the more amount of moles that you put into that balloon, the bigger the volume gets, okay? <laughs> it's pretty basic. If you pop a hole in the balloon, right, the less air that's actually in that balloon, the less moles of gas that are actually in that balloon, the smaller the balloon gets, okay? So if one goes up, the other goes up. One goes down, the other goes down. And the way we would show that in a graph, okay, amount versus volume. Again, a direct relationship. As one of them's going up, the other's also going up. Cool. All right. This is one of the one over the other relationships. So volume one divided by number of, ah, number of moles one equals volume two divided by number of moles two. Okay, so volume's easy, V1 over N1, N. This means the number of moles, right? It stands for amount, number of moles, same thing here, number of moles. Why? Just to confuse you, right? Moles doesn't even have an N in it. Why on earth is that our variable? Well, we use lowercase m for a lot of stuff. Okay, we use this for mass, we use this for meters. Okay, we've used it for a bunch of stuff already. So, and, and gas variables, I apologize guys, n, lowercase n, means your number of moles. Okay, so talking about the amount. V is easy, that's talking about volume, all right? Volume one over n one, equals V2 over N2. All right, one example and we're done. All right, so if you start blowing up a balloon, okay, and initially your balloon is not like completely empty of any air, right? There's still some air in there. So that air has 15 mils of actual that air. That balloon has 15 mils of air within that, that like flat balloon, the unblown up balloon. And it has 0 0.2 moles of gas. Okay. You blow it up to have 6.4 moles of gas. Okay. What's the volume of my blown up balloon? Easy. Okay. This is volume one over number of moles one equals volume two over number of moles two. And I just plug in my stuff. Okay. So volume one, I have 15 mils divided by 0 0.2 moles equals volume two, I don't know, that's what I'm solving for, divided by 6.4 moles. 
I didn't even give you anything to convert, right? You might be given something like grams instead of moles. Convert gram to mole, whatever. You know how to do that, okay? Same thing, butterfly method. You would get, okay, 15 mils times 6.4 moles equals V2 times 0 0.2 moles. I want to isolate my variable. I'm solving for V2, so divide by 0.2, divide by 0.2, and moles will cancel out here. Mole and mole cancels on my left-hand side, and I find that V2 equals, just make sure you can see that, uh, a number 400 and 95 mils. Just plug that in your calculator, right? 15 times 6.4 divided by 0.2. And it's in mils because that was there, okay? So that's my new volume. My, my balloon has blown up from 15 milliliters to 495 milliliters, okay? It's a bigger balloon. And if I was going to draw my initial, okay, little deflated balloon, and final conditions, the balloon got bigger, the volume got bigger, and the other thing that changed is my number of moles changed. So if I started with three, I end with a lot more, right? I end with whatever, a bunch of moles of my gas, okay? However, your temperature didn't change at all. Let me use a smaller pen, okay? Oh my goodness, I'm regretting that I drew so many gas particles because I have to draw that many arrows. Okay, Oops. all right, so whatever the size of your arrow is in your initial has to be the same size of your arrow in your final because the temperature did not change. Okay, and that's it. Okay, Avogadro's is really easy, very easy concept to understand. The more moles you have, the bigger the volume, the less moles you have, the smaller the volume, okay?